Hello, good morning. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This again, Santos Capellan Jr. Wishing you a good day. Now, today what I'm going to show you is how you are going to terminate the uh, damper actuator in the side. Okay? Now, uh, what I have here is my control transformer. Then, 24 volts. 220, 24 volts. Okay? Now, I have here my external relay. I'm using an external relay to... Uh, control this damper actuator. Then I have here my uh, DDC IO module. I'm going to use the relay output uh, terminals. Okay, so I have here K1 and K1C. Now inside there is a there are five uh, relays here, K1 to K5. Now I'm using the contact 11 and 12, meaning this is the normal open contact of K1 relay. Okay. Now what I did, 24 volts will go to my uh, common uh, contact of the relay then I have a uh, down I have the uh, normally closed contact up is the normally open contact so common 24 volts so this is also 24 volts coming from normally closed contact then this is also 24 volts will come from the uh, normally open contact okay so the 24 volts I use and terminate it in my K1 in terminal 11 this is the normally open contact, okay, then 24 volts will go out and go to my uh, relay uh, coil power supply, okay, then this common is directly wired here, okay, then this common is wired in my damper actuator, as you can see here, my common, I wired it in the terminal 2, then the normally closed contact, 24 volts is wired in my uh, clockwise rotation. Then my normally open contact, 24 volts will be wired in my terminal 4. Okay, so I don't need to show you the connection here because it's just three terminals, uh, 2, 3, 4. So 2 is the common of the 24 volts coming from my control transformer. Then 3 is coming from my normally closed contact, 24 volts in my relay. Then 4 is coming from my normally open contact from my relay, okay? Then 24 volts to energize this relay. Uh, I pass the 24 volts in my uh, I.O. module. So when my program will give an instruction to uh, open this, so this relay will be energized, the internal relay will be energized, then this normally open contact, then the 24 volts will go to the uh, uh, power supply of the in external relay okay so a1 and a2 then uh, for this one if you are going to install this in the site first you need to pay attention to the details okay now first you have to coordinate with the mechanical people what is the torque requirement of the damper installed in the site so if it requires 10 newton meter so this one is 10 newton meter so it can handle the torque requirement so let's say the torque requirement is 20 newton meter you cannot use this one so always coordinate with the mechanical people uh, what is the torque requirement and before installing this you need to manually check the damper installed in the site if it can be freely open or freely closed because if it is stuck then you will, will have a problem with the damper actuator it might burn your damper actuator okay so what are the parts of this damper actuator first we have this uh, shaft adapter okay so this shaft adapter let's say this is the shaft you will insert this one then you will tighten the u-bolt okay then uh, this is the clutch the clutch so you can manually open and manually close the uh, you can uh, let's say clockwise is for closing then counterclockwise is for opening okay now uh, there is also one uh, selector here uh, if it is already in the direct then another uh, function is service off then reverse direct meaning if i give the signal to open this one is open will open if i give the signal to close this one will close now in reverse if i give the signal to open it will close if i give the signal to close it will open that is reverse acting okay now in service of even there's a control signal this one will not work or will not function because you put it in service of so that is the function of this selector okay now the power supply you you should always uh, pay attention to the details so power supply is 24 volts ac that's why i have the 24 volts uh, transformer 
So, the power requirement of this is 5 BA. So, this 5 BA, we are using it in uh, sizing our control transformer. Let's say my DDC will handle 10 or will give power supply to 10, uh, 10 damper equator requiring 5 VA, so I have to multiply it by 10, so 50 VA. So I think I have to have my transformer, control transformer, control transformer around 75 VA, okay? So I have already one video that will uh, give you an idea how are you going to size your control, trans control transformer, okay? Now, uh, in installing this, first you need to fully close the damper in the side. Then attach this uh, damper uh, adapter, then tighten the U-bolt. Then install this anti-rotation device, okay? So you need to install it like this. So this one will prevent your damper actuator from rotating. Because if you don't, you will not put this one, this damper actuator will just rotate, okay? So it will not open and close the uh, damper. Okay, so it's very important. Don't forget to install this anti-rotation device, okay? So, once again, I hope I have given you an idea how are you going to power up and wire your damper actuator, okay? So, damper actuator, it can be used in two position or floating point. Now, this one we will use in two position, fully open and fully closed, okay? Now, later I will make some... Uh, video tutorial for floating point and some damper they can provide you a status or feedback status if the if the damper is open or it is closed this time this n1024 it doesn't provide any feedback status so you will you will just open it and you will just close it so you don't receive any feedback from this damper actuator okay so once again thank you very much for watching my uh, video tutorial and I do hope I have given you an idea in the near future if you will become a BMS engineer how are you going to uh, do the power supply and termination of this damper actuator so this is Santos Capilan Jr. saying God bless us all and bye for now